Welcome back to the watch list. Want to take a look at CrowdStrike and cybersecurity overall. CrowdStrike soared today, was up over 15%, hit new highs of 365. It has since pulled back. It's around 330 right now. But where do we stand on names like this one? Joining me right now, Dr. Chris Pearson, CEO at Black Cloak, and Ahmed Khan, equity analyst technology at Morningstar. Uh, how does Morningstar have CrowdStrike rated these days? We did see the earnings beat. We, get, we got some good news from the company. It has been a clear winner. One year up 168% roughly. Your thoughts on the outlook of CrowdStrike here, Ahmed Khan. Yeah, so we have a $300 price target on CrowdStrike, so we roughly see it fairly valued, especially since the stock has come down a little bit uh, during the day after being almost up 25% after hours. Uh, generally, we are very bullish on CrowdStrike. We have uh, strong growth and profitability assumptions. We really like where the company is headed. It's a high-quality cybersecurity vendor and currently trades in our three-star territory. Yeah, understood. Dr. Chris Pearson, how are you feeling about CrowdStrike? Look, the fact of the matter is, is that they've reported strong earnings. Uh, great Q4 numbers coming in. Uh, ARR at around the $3.4 billion mark. They're a solid company, solid technology, employees to grow. They're also not being held back by some things that might be holding some other companies back. We know that we had some, some uh, uh, words of caution more so coming out of Palo Alto Networks where once again physical security components physical security devices might not be able to respond as much or react as quickly as can be in this market crowdstrike as a software based SaaS based company looks like it's able to weather those they have a strong pipeline strong growth and they continue to execute well and the threats that are here that they actually solve for just keep on increasing the number of breaches is increasing number of ransomware events increasing this yeah. is one going to be one of those yeah. must-haves within a company. Look, annual recurring revenue. We saw the double beat. We saw the outlook, earnings per share and revenue. It just look. It just overall looked like a very healthy report. Ahmed, um, what do you need to see from this name, and what other names in the group may be even better positioned than CrowdStrike? So from a valuation perspective right now, we like Palo Alto uh, and Fortinet. They're both trading slightly below our fair value estimates. Uh, Zscaler is also trading in the three-star range as well. Uh, with regard to CrowdStrike in particular, um, we would like to see a bit more traction on, on, on some of the new uh, growth verticals that they're entering, whether that's cloud like security, identity, or log scale, uh, next generation SIM. Uh, they're they're tracking very nicely uh, uh, in these three growth verticals, uh, and 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 we think that these three new growth verticals are going to be major growth drivers for the firm going forward. Yeah, when you look at names like Palo Alto and Fortinet, I mean, I see Fortinet year to date is up twenty two percent. Overall, when you look at this group, Dr. Chris Pearson, how do you feel about some of those other names like Fortinet, like Palo Alto, or any others that may be in focus? Are those the best position in the group? Um, I think that those are definitely leading names. Uh, I would also throw in there Sentinel-1. Uh, I also think that Okta has been showing really strong results as of recent as well. I think all of those are in a class by themselves that are going to be able to weather the storm if there are any kind of consolidations of technology and tools that are happening. We did see that warning from Palo Alto in terms of his recent reports that some security teams are seeming to cut back a little bit. They want more bang for their buck uh, as we enter in this uh, tricky time. But I think that, look, this group of companies is really well poised to perform this year, especially those that are reliant more on software as a service and not necessarily hardware-based uh, technology. They're going to be ones that will be able to weather that storm and explore new market opportunities. Yeah, and I wanted to, I mean, we left out Zscaler. That's another name that's in focus. Oh, yes. Neither one of you really picked that as your leader. Uh, you know, you mentioned Sentinel-1, too, um, and Okta you had on there. Um, let's talk about, you, you mentioned in the note at Morningstar that the new verticals ramping up rapidly. So, the, and there are sales from that. Tell us more about that path and how that can help these kinds of names, Ahmed? So uh, CrowdStrike has traditionally been an endpoint security business. 
uh, more recently, they have expanded into cloud security identity and log scale next generation SIM, which is essentially security operations. Um, last year, roughly, they did around $420 million in ARR. So Q4 of, uh, or of last year, the num num number for ARR was $420 million. This year was in excess of $850 million. So that goes to show they doubled these businesses within a year. Uh, and they're growing very nicely. And also, as CrowdStrike sort of expands these adjacencies, we think that it increases the overall switching costs of the business, which makes less churn less likely. And one thing, an additional thing I'd throw in there is that CrowdStrike's gross retention metric is arguably the highest in cybersecurity. It's at around 98%. So that just goes to show how sticky their solutions are. Um, and we expect that these new growth verticals will only add to the customer switching costs that CrowdStrike already enjoys. Yeah, I mean, that's to your point. I mean, that's a big deal here to have the retention, the best in class gross retention of 98%. Um, that means they're, they're doing it right and they're keeping the folks on board. And that's part of the competitive landscape. Uh, Chris? Uh, look, the fact of the matter is, is that CrowdStrike focused its eyes on something that was EDR. They focused on one area, one sector, one thing to go attack first, and now they're branching out into others. This is going to play very, very nicely for them as chief information security officers look to consolidate multiple tools into one. They have confidence in CrowdStrike. They have confidence in what they've delivered to date. And as a result, Right, you're going to have people migrating there in terms of SIM, identity, all the rest. I think that that's going to be a very, very strong outlook for them to continue retaining the clients and actually steal some market share away from others. You know, I, in your notes, you also have things about you know the the malware, the FBI, the, all that goes on. There is so much risk. So I think I'd like to leave it with a big picture. I don't want to scare folks. But um, Dr. Chris Pearson, I think it's important to sort of really paint the picture of what we're up against at home look, and this, other countries this that want to get involved. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, look, right now we're facing cybersecurity risks that are at the height, whether it's China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, in terms of nation state risks, that they're at the highest of the high mark. You had some warnings coming out of CISA, DHS, and other agencies in terms of China and its role in critical infrastructure and potentially being able to disrupt critical infrastructure for the United States. That plays onto this topic. And then kind of finally, you have a stellar year last year for ransomware, right? The prior year was around $500 million. Last year passed $1 billion in ransomware payments. So this area is hot. Cybersecurity continues to increase in terms of its demand and we're facing nation state risks like no other before. So a lot of these companies we mentioned are gonna do quite well but they're really going to have to make sure they're paying attention to their clients, make sure they're paying attention to their focus, and giving a good ROI if things get bumpy during the year. Yeah, understood. Thank you both very much. Dr. Chris Pearson, CEO at, at Black Cloak. Ahmed Khan, equity analyst of technology at Morningstar. Thanks, folks, for being with me.